Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing curtain wall panel louver family. So this will just be a curtain wall panel and it will have a louver in it. So you can just exchange your regular curtain wall panels for these louvered curtain wall panels and you can create interesting patterns on the facade or just protect your facade from excessive sunlight. So here I am in Revit and I'm just going to start off with an architectural template to create our curtain wall and let me just set the units first. I prefer doing this. So let's go with meters, go OK. And now let's go with a WA command or wall command and let's choose here the storefront curtain wall and let's just place it like this. So now I'm just going to go into 3D and to see what this looks like. Okay, that's fine. Now let's just select this wall and go into edit type. And here in edit type you can see the dimensions of this this wall and I'm just going to change this or round it up at 1.5 and let's, let's leave this at 2.4 and go apply. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this panel or with this wall. We know the dimensions of individual curtain panels and now we can start modeling the family. So I'm just going to open up the start menu, go new family and then here you just search metric curtain wall panel. So make sure you take the curtain wall panel and not the curtain panel pattern based. This is something completely different. So you just go over here and you open it up and you get something that looks like this. So first I'm just going to go here to the exterior view and if you can't see anything just try typing in ZA for zoom all. So now let's just set up our dimensions of these reference planes that are the actual boundary of our curtain panel to the dimensions that we already have set up in the project. So I'm just going to select this and move it at 2.4 thousand millimeters or 2.4 meters and let's just change this to I don't know like centimeters perhaps maybe that's the good dimension for this and let's set this up at 75 because this should be 1.5 meters or 150 centimeters so this is like 75 centimeters okay so the first thing I like to do in these kinds of models is I like to model the glass because you don't want to forget the glass glass is the point of this curtain wall panel so I'm just going to go to create extrusion and just create an extrusion like so and this is just the glass panel and make sure that the extrusion end is at, I don't know, something like 2 centimeters. You don't really need more than that. And you go finish and you set the material to just default glass here in Revit. So go, just go glass, OK, and you go finish. OK, once this is done, now you can start modeling the actual louver construction and the louvers. So I'm going to go to here to create an extrusion again. And I'm going to use the circle. And let's just create one circle over here that's... I don't know, like four centimeters in diameter and I'm just going to copy it and select multiple here and kind of copy it to the other side, then select these two and again copy it down below to the bottom reference plane. Okay, so once this is done, just go finish and go into floor plan to see what this looks like and here we can kind of extend it on the other side, so extend it to the exterior side of your facade. and. As far as the distance goes, let's go with, I don't know, something like 30 centimeters or actually minus 30 centimeters because it's kind of upside down. Okay, so once this is completed, let's go again into create and extrusion and let's do these vertical elements of the construction and let's do this at 2.5 centimeters and let's bring it down a bit, select it, go CO for copy and copy to the other side. Then you need to go to the exterior elevation and just go finish and extend this all the way up and perhaps lock it in place. Again, you don't have to do this because we already know the dimensions of our panel, so this won't really be a parametric family. Okay, so we have our construction pretty much done, so let's do the louvers as well. So I'm going to go to either left or right elevation, just do whatever you want. Let's do the right elevation or perhaps left. And if you can't see anything, again, ZA for zoom all. Okay, so once you're here, you need to go into create and extrusion. And here I like to use ellipse tool for this. So you just hit ellipse and you kind of create something that looks 
like this. And now you can select it and you can actually change the dimensions, make it thinner, something like that. That looks all right. Now you put it somewhere around the center. You can use the arrow keys to kind of nudge it in place. And I'm just going to select it and rotate it. And I'm going to rotate it at around 20 degrees. So when the sunlight is coming from above, you can't, it's blocking the sunlight. But when a person is looking from a building down to see what's happening outside, they can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to move this up a bit, kind of like that. And now I'm going to go to copy, multiple, and I'm going to copy, basically move it down by, I don't know, something like 30 centimeters or perhaps 40. This is not enough. So let's go 40. And then you just repeat it again, 40, 40, and maybe a couple of more times. Okay, that's enough. Maybe select everything and nudge it down a bit. Okay, that this looks right. So you just go finish and you go into your reference plane. And here you can just kind of align it to this side and align it to this side as well and lock it in place if you want to. And now let's just go into 3D to see what this looks like. And I suggest you go into realistic to see a bit bit better. And as you can see, it kind of kept the materials. So all of our extrusions are glass, even though only just the glass should be glass. So I'm just going to select all of these elements that are not glass panels. And I'm going to open up this material browser. And let's search for some aluminum. So let's go with metal. Okay. Let's scroll down a bit. Aluminum is usually at the bottom. So let's use this one. I'm not really an expert on aluminum. So let's just keep that. Okay, this looks about right. And as you can see, when you're looking from the inside, you can actually see through the wall or through the window. And when the sun is coming from above, it can't get through. So the actual louver is helping. So let's load this into project. And once it's loaded in, go into 3D and kind of let's go to the outside. Okay. And now you kind of hit the tab key a couple of times till you can select this curtain panel and let's select a few of them. Let's select this one as well. Unpin it. Select one here. Unpin it. One here. Unpin it. And let's do one more. And I'm just trying to show you that you can create patterns on your facade using just these louvered panels. So I'm just going to open this up and you I can go with family. And there you go. Now we have these louvers loaded in. And they're actually working and we can of course go into realistic or perhaps shaded and you can see the louvers are working okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day